Math Lesson 8.5, Dice Subtraction. I can use objects to add and subtract within 10. Remember, when we talk about subtraction, we're talking about words like subtract, fewer, minus, decrease, less, takeaway, and difference. So how is subtracting numbers different from adding numbers? Do you remember what is the difference? The difference is when you add numbers, you get more. When you subtract, you get less. So we're going to look at two problems that are exactly the same, except one is addition and one is subtraction. So the first one is 2 plus 1. So I have two buckets of strawberries. And then I get one more because I'm adding. So that means I'm getting more. So 2 plus 1 equals 3 because I keep the 2 that I started with and I get one more. 2 plus 1 equals 3. Let's look at the same problem but subtraction. 2 minus 1. So I still start with two buckets of strawberries, but instead of getting another one, I'm going to cross one out because minus means take away or get rid of. So two minus one equals one because I only have one bucket left. So two minus one equals just the one. So there's different strategies you can use to subtract. So you could use your fingers and count backwards, kind of like what's shown here. So if I started out with eight and then I put three down or got rid of three, I could see how many are left. I could also draw the problem. So in this picture, it shows you how they drew five dogs and then they put X's over two of them because it's five minus two. And then this picture now shows you that 5 minus 2 equals 3. You can also use a number line and count backwards. So I started at 7, that's where my red dot is, and I count backwards 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then I end up at 3. 7 minus 4 equals 3. So last week we practiced using adding using dice. And then today we're going to practice subtracting using dice, but it's a little bit different because remember when you add using dice, you count all the dots that you have. But when you subtract using dice, you cannot do that. So let's look at this one, six minus two. So I have to only look at my first dice and I have to think of what would happen if I covered up two dots on that six. I would be left with four. Another thing you have to know is when you subtract, you have to take the bigger number minus the smaller number. So when we would roll dice, let's look here at me rolling some dice, I get a six and a three. So I would have to do six minus three because six is bigger than three. Let's look at this one. I rolled a two and a one, so I would have to do two minus one because you have to take the bigger number minus the smaller number. So let's look at some different strategies using dice and subtraction. So the first one we're gonna look at is subtracting dice using a number line. So the first thing I do is I roll my dice and I have a six and a three. So I'm gonna put my marker on the six and then I'm gonna jump backwards three because it's subtraction. One, two, three. And I'm left standing on the three. Six minus three equals three. Let's take a look at subtracting dice using a 10 frame. So we're gonna look at this one which is five minus two. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put five markers on my 10 frame. And then, since it's minus, I'm going to take away two of them or get rid of two of them because, and now I end up with three. Five minus two 
equals three. All right, let's look at subtracting dice using a drawing. The first thing I'm gonna do is roll my dice and I get a five and a five. So I'm going to draw five circles because that's the first number that I have. And then I need to get rid of however many are on the second number. So in this case, I'm gonna get rid of five. So I'm going to mark them with an X. Five minus five equals zero because I have zero circles left. Let's look at this. Which model shows eight minus two equals six? So remember, we need to look at which one starts out with eight and crosses out two. It's a little tricky because this top one, I see two X's and same with the bottom. But on the top one, I only start out with six. So that's showing that I had six and I got rid of two. That's not right. It's this bottom one down here because that one shows starting out with eight cubes and then getting rid of two and I still have six cubes left. Let's look at this one. If you cover up three dots, how many dots will you be able to see? So cover up three or take away three, how many dots would be left? Three, six minus three equals three. All right, now last, let's do a little bit of practice on what we've just done. So if I have five and I take away five dots, how many are left? Zero. If I have five and I take away four of the dots, how many are left? One. If I have four and I take away one, try this one with your fingers. Put up four fingers and then put down one. You should get three. The last one, if I have six and I take away two, so put up six fingers and then put down two. You should get four.